arrest of a 13 year old boy and he has been charged with second Welcome to Tita Toronto, my girl, I'm going to call us a sip and spill the tea. Today we're going to be talking about something that is trending um, throughout the school, in our community, here in Toronto, okay? The victim on the screen here is Jordan Carter, and a 13-year-old has been charged. Now, we don't really know what happened, but according to um, here, it says... Okay, a 13 year old boy has been charged with second degree M in the connection with the fatal shooting of a teen in EC early this week. Police say that they were called to an underground parking garage at Pape and Cosburn, that's Gamble Avenue, um, at around 11.30 p.m. on Wednesday for, you know. And the victim was identified as Jordan Carter. Okay, so what happened? We don't know. He's been charged with second degree, and what does that mean? Let's see what that means. Okay, so fall under any of the category of first degree M, and the sentence, the minimum sentence is life in prison with no parole for ten years, but sentences can be as long as life in prison without parole for twenty five years. Okay. So he's 13, and this is what he's being charged with, okay? There is also something here called the Youth Criminal Justice Act, and it protects um, youth between the ages of 12 to 17 um, who've committed a crime, okay? Now, the reason why this is so, like, ooh, painful is just that we have to wonder, where did he get the G from? Like, really? Y you know what I mean? 13 years old. This is my TV, okay? I could be wrong, but this is what I think. I think they were playing and they found it and tried to figure out and accidentally something and what happened on the other hand again we don't know but it's hard for me to really just sit here and think 13 year old is gonna pick up a weapon and you know what i mean 15 year old or were they friends we don't know um, he was a skateboarder. He is likable. It's trending on social media now to the school. Like I said, you know, he, he's well known. If he's found guilty, um, most likely um, probation, most likely, um, you know, some community hours or stuff like that. It is hard to charge him as an adult. In this situation he's 13 it's not like he's 17 and you know no he's 13 years old you have to look at the whole like he just become a teen like what's going on you know what I mean and also we have to look at his history is this repeat behavior has this happened before does he have any charges in the youth criminal court is this his first time so there's a lot of things that comes into play when a young offender is caught up in the conflict with the law okay so can he get an adult sentence there is a difference yes but again because under um, a youth to get adult sentencing, first degree, second degree, manslaughter, you know, etc. But they cannot try him 
as an adult. Does that make sense? Like he cannot go, they can say, okay, this is, you know, we can try him, an adult quote and all this thing. No. And then again, let's say an adult may have gotten for the same thing, maybe what, I don't know. Like it says, you know, the sentencing for second degree can be 10 or life, you know, without parole. Would that happen to him? Do you think a 13 year old who's been charged with second degree um, will be convicted and go to prison for 10 to 25 years? I just don't see it happening. You know? This may not be what we want to hear, but then it's the law. You know what I mean? Was this intentional? We don't know. Like it's the law that protects anyone under the age, okay, of 18. So as 18, you get charged as an adult. Anything under 18, young offenders. Okay? That's it for now. Right.